Hello, Drifty Type dudes, Officer Dan and Johnny Caps back at you with the GK Tech 4130 High Tensile Steel Steering Rack Spacer Install video. Yay! You may be wondering, Dan, what do we get in said kit? One bolt on spacer and one slip on spacer, as shown in the bag. Now, the combo of these bad units is going to give you up to 15 degrees of lock for not a lot of bucks. The larger spacer is going to measure in at 13 millimeters, and the smaller one comes in at 6. Now we're installing this on a right-hand drive car for this video. It will go on the passenger side, meaning if you're installing on a left-hand drive car, it will go on your passenger side. Got it? Good. Now remove the rack boot on the driver's side, toss a wrench on the rack and tie rod, and loosen that thing and unthread it all the way out. Now that it's out, go ahead and spray the hell out of it to clean it up. Clean up the inside of the rack as well, then blow it out with some compressed air to make sure it's dry. Install the slip-on spacer, now goop on your thread locker, and give it a wipe. Now install your inner tie rod back in, get a wrench on both the rack and the tie rod, and give her the tighten. Moving right along to the passenger side, snip the zips and remove the rack boot. Take those wrenches and loosen that inner tie rod. Thread it all the way out and clean the bejesus out of the end just like we did before. Clean the rack threads as well and blow them out with compressed air. We want these things clean to give that Loctite a good bite. After you're done, give it a good wiping. Now, apply your thread locker to the larger spacer, then spread it around like you mean it. And thread that thing into the rack. Hold the shaft, then tighten the spacer down. Now apply thread locker to the inner tie rod and thread that in as well. This time we're going to hold the bolt-on rack spacer and tighten the inner tie rod. You want to make sure that the rack is centered and you want to have 80 millimeters or 3.14 inches of space on each side to the end of the rack spacers. Adjust the alignment out from there. Now toss back on your faithful dust boots, zip tie those johnnies on, cut the tails off, and you're done, my friend. Sick and or dank skids await you after you get an alignment. Follow these two guys who may or may not actually drift in real life. And for Pete's sake, if you don't feel comfortable installing, have a pro do it. We'll catch you next time. Love, the boys from GK Tech.